hello and welcome to this video. We're going to make a simple Christmas card but you could use this if you wanted to make a profile picture, a birthday card or even a sign for your store. So first of all what you need to do is click on file then down to new and go through and create yourself a canvas size of 512 by 512 and then you'll end up with a white canvas like this. The next thing we want to do is click over here onto our blend tool also called the gradient and clicking in here you can see that I've selected gold but you could choose um, green or any particular colour that suits your purpose. I really like this uh, gold. It's a nice uh, simple way to create an interesting background. So I'm going to click up the top right hand corner and drag it down and you can see here how my gold has blended across the canvas. The next thing that I want to do is go through and I open up another image um, earlier we worked on a uh, image and made it an alpha and I've got one here that is a Christmas one so I'm just going to go through and open that up and you can see here, here is my little bell so what I want to do is I want to copy this so I go to select and all and then edit and copy and then I come back over here to my new canvas and I'm going to create a new layer because I don't want that on my background layer and then I'm going to go edit and paste. And you'll notice that once it's been pasted it's still sitting here and it's floating selection so we need to click on the anchor so we can anchor it. And once it's been anchored it's placed in the middle of our canvas there. I want to move this up to the top right hand or left hand corner so I'm going to click on the move tool and then I'm simply going to pick this up and drag it up the top here. I want to create another layer because I'm going to come through and I'm going to then put some text on it. So I've clicked on my text and double click this up. Um, let's go through and use a script. We want sort of a nice flowing text. I've chosen a size of 60 and a colour of red. Once again, if you don't like that uh, font, just simply click on it. It'll open up a selection of fonts and you can choose the particular one that you want. I've clicked and dragged across my screen. This window pops up here and I'm going to type in here Merry Christmas from Now you'll notice that my text is a little bit larger than what uh, box size I made. So I'm just going to click here. You can see I've got some little handles here and drag this out. Click back over this side and drag it out. My font's probably just slightly too large so I'll change this down to 50. And I dropped it down to 45. So you can see here it's now got Merry Christmas from sltexturetutorials.com. Just going to change this, move it around a little bit. Once you're happy with the text on the page, I'll just click on the move tool there and move this down. Moving this down because I want it positioned towards the bottom of the page. The next thing I'm going to do is drop add a little uh, drop shadow onto it. So we're going to click on filter. And then down to light and shadow and over here to drop shadow. Now this is available in uh, GIMP 2.6. That's what I'm using. And you can see here it comes through with the window. I've just chosen an offset of 2 and 2 and a radius of 4. You can choose a particular colour. I've left this as gold. I might drop that opacity down a little bit. And clicking OK. And there you can see we've got uh, our image that we placed in there. Gradient background some text and a drop shadow. If you'd like to learn more, pop on over to our website, sltexturetutorials.com.